channel don't touch my hair by Jima Sally today's video is gonna be all about hair growth yes you heard me finally all about hair growth I've been a curly hair girl for more than 10 years so this is something that I've always got asked on and listen I am in the same boat if you're currently trying to grow out your hair recently got a haircut and I love the shape but I do want back the length so these are my tips in order how to get your hair long healthy and just looking great so guys, continue watching. Every time someone asks me, hey, what do you do to keep your hair long or what tips do you have for hair growth? The first two things I tell them is patience and consistency. Yes, you heard me, patience and consistency. Patience because your hair is not going to grow overnight. No matter how many times you're doing that do it your own special miracle mask, oh, and in a month it's gonna grow, no. It's going to take time and consistency because there are things that you need to do. Your wash routine, your night routine, and monthly trims are included in these tips. Yes, you heard me, monthly trims. Have you guys ever heard of people doing the big chop? The reason why they do the big chop is because if your hair has split ends and your hair is already damaged and it has breakage, you have to remove those ends off. If you don't, then your hair is going to continue splitting and breaking. So before anything, if I were you, I'd go to your nearest curly hair salon and schedule an appointment to either get a trim or get the big chop or at least cut your hair to a certain length where most of the damaged ends are done. Or well, are cut off, I'm sorry because there's no point of you doing mass treatments, oil treatments, or protein treatments if you have damaged hair. They're not going to curl up. So let's get scissor happy and cut them off. That's my number one tip. Get the trim, don't be scared. Your hair will grow back, especially with my tips. Tip number two. So for tip number two, we're going to talk about your wash routine. I highly recommend only washing your hair once a week. If you overwash your hair, you're most likely going to dry your hair out. And what does dry hair cause? Breakage. What is breakage? Shorter hair, people. We don't want that. So my recommendation, wash your hair once a week. That's the max. And also use shampoo once a month. The rest of the week, co-wash. Shampoos can strip away your natural oil and we do not want that because our natural oils is what's going to reproduce the moisture that we need in our hair. So I highly recommend co-washing for the rest of the week and there are amazing co-washes. In the description box below, I'm going to give my recommendation of products that curly hair girls should use while they're growing up their hair or transitioning. Please remember to use a moisturizing conditioner and apply the conditioner in four to eight sections of your hair to make it easier to finger detangle. The way you detangle your hair plays a huge part in also your hair growth. When you finger detangle, you wanna finger detangle in sections. And yes, you can use a comb, but I recommend a wide tooth comb. Using a finer comb to detangle is going to create more shredding and more hair breakage, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Our next tip, tip number three, is styling. The way you style also makes a big difference. In my curly wash routine, you guys saw that I sectioned my hair and I went through with my fingers and then used a diamond brush. I recommend always to finger detangle and use a diamond brush. I like applying my leave-in in the shower and if I feel like I have too much leave-in or it's too much wetness, which I think applying your product when your hair is wet is easier because your hair is going to soak up the product and the moisture is going to get locked and sealed. If you think it's too much, please do not use your towel. That is a big no. That is a big curly hair mistake. Either use an old t-shirt or cotton t-shirt or you can buy a microfiber towel. They sell them on Amazon, Marshalls, very inexpensive and it's healthier on your hair. And when you're using this microfiber towel, let me give you an example, hold on. So my example, I don't have a microfiber towel on me right now. Mine's actually washing in the dryer. But when you use a t-shirt, 
just go like this scrunch up do not pat dry that's just gonna oh god <laughs> sorry that's just gonna create frizz and we don't want that remember to just scrunch up that way it is you know taking in any over excess products that you have in your hair so with the styling remember to finger detangle use a wide tooth comb always use a kind t-shirt or a microfiber towel and another important thing which i didn't mention if you use a diffuser please use it on a low setting we're trying to avoid dryness and curly hair whether you have it thick fine we are prone to dryness either way so it's okay to use a diffuser if you're not going to let your hair air dry which i always recommend use it on a low setting tip number four so tip number four is going to be really important because this is something that you should be doing once a week with your wash routine and that is doing a protein treatment or an oil treatment i use two oils that go in my mask treatment sometimes sometimes i don't but these are the oils that i used to do while i was growing out my hair which i will be going back to i used to use castor oil and avocado oil these are great oils to use or add on to your mask to get that extra moisture and conditioning in. Now, another oil I use, but this I use while I'm styling my hair, and that is to protect and seal my hair from any, you know, dryness or frizziness, is jojoba oil and almond oil. These oils are great to use as sealers and leave your hair looking shiny and fabulous. Jojoba and almond oil are the oils that are closest to the oils that are reproduced from our head. So those are my go-to oils to use. With the protein treatment, I only use Afogee protein treatment or Nexus protein treatment. Like I said before, I will list the products down below. But when I use a protein treatment, I am very conscious that I have to quickly follow with a hydrating treatment. The hydrating treatments I recommend are the Heaven and Hair from Diva Curl and Shea Moisture's High Porosity Mask, which is the mask I'm going to be reviewing for Mask Mondays. These masks are great for conditioning and moisturizing the hair after using a protein treatment. Guys, we're going good, so tip number five. Tip number five is your night routine. You guys have heard of the pineapple bun. I recommend doing the pineapple bun when you go to sleep. You guys don't know what the pineapple bun is? Hold on, I got you right now. So the pineapple bun is that you cover your hair with a scarf, a silk scarf. Always use silk. You don't want cotton that's gonna break your hair and take away the natural oils of your hair as well. So what you do, let me take off my earrings. Now I'm gonna fight to show you what the pineapple bun is. So what you do is take your hair all the way up. You're gonna put it all the way up like this, right? Hold on, hold on. Right? You're gonna keep it like this. See that? You see that big bump? <laughs> right? And you're just gonna tie your hair. I use the lighter side. Well, not the lighter side, the silkier side to wrap my hair. And voila, guys, this is the pineapple bun. You can leave the hair tie there, but for some people that makes a mark, what I do is I take it off and that's it this even looks like a cute little hairstyle <laughs> let me stop but do this if you're gonna go to sleep if you don't have any silk cover sheets for your pillow or silk covers for your pillow please go out and buy one that also helps to keep the moisture in your hair that is tip number five guys which helps prevent frizz i really do like this style i'm about to create looks like this all right let me stop either way so guys now that i've given you tips this is basically for your hair. Now I'm going to give you tips on supplements, which is what a lot of people like to take. Hold on, I'm like really feeling this like, yo, my makeup came out great. All right, babies, I'm back. Yes, that pineapple gave me some more volume. Yes, who doesn't love volume? All right, back to the supplements or outside body care. So in order for your hair to grow, there's something important that you need to know. You cannot be stressed out. You want your hair to grow, you have to remain at peace. That's so difficult for me because God knows I have anxiety and every other day I'm just like having a nervous breakdown, but whatever. 
back to the video. So for mood stabilizers, I do take supplements like fish oil, magnesium and calcium. If you have trouble sleeping, please take these. They're great. But first, go to a doctor because I don't want to give out like recommendations and then yeah, they don't work for you. But it's recommended to get eight, six to eight hours of sleep. The more well rested you are, the more energy you have, the more your hair is gonna grow. So supplements are really great. Another thing I wanna recommend is a lot of people take biotin. I don't like swallowing a lot of pills, so if you're looking for an alternative, because biotin does help with your hair growth, I do recommend my fave, Nature's Bonnie Hair, Skin, and Nails Gummies. Um, I actually found out about this about Fera Pink. Uh, I saw a significant change in my nail growth, and this is just bomb, guys. Like, And it tastes really good, and if you're looking for an option not to take so many pills, I highly recommend this and Walgreens I don't know if there's a Walgreens near you but Walgreens have them right now for um, buy one get the other one free these cost 15 a buck and they bring 120 gummies you take two a day and it's really great another supplement I saw to take for your hair growth that I'm excited to try I have not tried I've heard great reviews my best friend actually takes the pill version her name is Marja Maya I will link her Instagram she's also a blogger Super cool is Neocell Super Collagen for hair, skin, nail, joints, joints, sorry, and bone. So this is the powder version. I don't like taking pills, as I said a billion times already. This you take it on an empty stomach with orange juice, just one, and I've heard amazing results. Like I was looking into it, and I had mentioned it up to my best friend because her hair is always long and stuff, and she told me she actually takes the pill version. So since I already know someone who takes it has seen great results, I'm excited to see how the powder works. And so far what I looked into it holds up to its name so once I'm done with this because I kind of don't want to take this combined I'm definitely gonna give this a try either way taking supplements for your hair is also something I do recommend biotin collagen they do work yeah guys I hope you liked my video please like comment and subscribe and let me know if you guys have any more questions about hair growth I'm excited to go on this journey with you because as I told you before in the beginning of the video I'm also growing out my hair so please message me on Instagram, message me through emails. I would love to hear your feedback on all my videos and what content you guys want me to bring more for you. So remember to stay cute, stay curly, stay positive. Bye.